pole saw. Echo 1260. Let's take her apart. See why she doesn't start. Put a new spark plug in there. New fuel lines. Clean the carburetor. Still doesn't start. So now I'm gonna check the compression. I'm just gonna open her up. See what she looks like on the inside. All right, so I took everything, dismantled it, got it all apart, kept it in sections over there. Now here's the cylinder head right here. Just got a bare cylinder head. So all I gotta do now is unloosen these bolts. That one, that one, and the cylinder head should just pop off. So we're gonna see how that works. Okay, so I took the cylinder head off you see the gasket? I think it's a good idea to get into another head gasket, so because this thing peeled in half, so it wouldn't be a good idea to put that back on. So, anyways, it's got a lot of buildup on the piston head itself, the top surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrape that off. All right, so here's the cylinder wall. Um, I got it clean down in there. I'm not sure if you could see that. But down in, in, in that second hole in there, exit hole, there's carbon buildup in that corner right there, right before it holds, right in that elbow where it shoots out. So I need to clean up that carbon in there. Other than that, the cylinder walls look pretty smooth in there. I'm going to get in there and get a feel and see how it feels in there. But it looks pretty slim in there. Pretty good. All right, so here's a new piston. Well, it's still the same one. I didn't buy any new one, but I just cleaned it. As you can see, I just cleaned it with a wire brush. Um, it's got points right here where the rings should be set. So if you put your rings in that point, if you keep, because you could easily take it out of its place. So you got to put it back in its point right in there. Now it's now it's on the point. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There you go. There's a little groove in there, a gold groove right there. And also there's one right there. So I had to put it back in its place, but there they go. They're right there. You can see them both. So as long as you have the rings in there, um, you're good. But other than that, I just cleaned all around it. So it looks fucking very brand new. I'm just going to oil this down, lube it up, and I'm going to put this thing back on. So let's get started. All right, so I cleaned the cylinder head right in there where it gets spark in there. It was black before. You couldn't even see any silverness. So... Now I'm going to oil this up, put it back on and try to start it. Um, I don't have a head gasket. I took the bottom head gasket off, so the top head gasket is just going to suffice for now. So we're going to see if it just starts. If it starts, then hey, baby, we got a good fucking engine. So let's fucking do it. So got everything connected. Just put some gas in it. I'm going to prime it. See if it starts. So here we are. started now it doesn't turn off when you disconnect the coil wire and it doesn't have any compression when you um, pull full throttle so I think just a head gasket will fix that alone and getting a new muffler so I need to put that down so the engine starts to turn it off so what you uh, excuse me what you have to do is in the intake when you take the filter off that right there closes the intake suction hole so then you just want to apply gas and it can't pull any gas or it can't pull any air so it just cuts off. So now we know it works. Um, so maybe it just needs a head gasket in between the top of the head and the bottom of the crankshaft. And it also did not spin the saw up there it wasn't rotating so i don't know yet i don't know what the problem is but maybe i assume once i get the, com the compression fixed 
once I put it in the gasket, then it will have power to move that blade. Oh, where is it? Up there. Move the blade. So, so I got to buy a few things. But other than that, everything works. You also got to remember this thing has a start on and off switch right there. The switch works because I couldn't get it started with this thing being off. So you always got to keep this forward. And the only way to turn it off is by choking it. So there you go. I'm very freaking happy. We got this thing for free and this thing works like a charm. So there we go. That's how you fix an old pole saw. So once I get done cleaning this, I'm gonna just glue it down with the slightest bit of oil and put oil all on the piston and then I'm gonna install this thing back together. So let's get it going the fuck on. <laughs>